Slack attack. All right, let's hit the ground running. Take down that guy and take two or three pot shots at this fuel tank here to set it off and get the place burning. This is what you want to do. You want them all running around because of the fire. Keep them running around so you can, you know, snipe them. Thanks for joining me again. Let's walk through some more Far Cry 2 on infamous difficulty level. We're in the post office area for the first APR mission, and we're doing it our buddy's way, Nazarene's way. Nice standoff position here. Nice big flat rock. Beautiful high ground. But it's not immune from rushing vehicles, so you gotta keep your M79 ready to rock and roll. And or the 249 saw, just in case they get too close. This guy's trying to rescue his wounded buddy, that's great. Here comes another one. I intuitively went for him with a sniper rifle, and I was right. And here comes yet another one. Yeah, it's vehicle spam. This always happens, pretty much. At least three vehicles will rush you. So totally in the zone here. The advantage of playing without having to do live commentary. Our objective is to pick up a distributor cap, I believe, in that building down below. There's at least three or four enemies still down there though. And uh, you'll see it, uh, it gets really hectic. I'm sitting pretty now, but that's going to change very shortly. And that's about all she wrote. I've burned out as much as I can. Picking off a few scragglers here. This grenade was a little wasted. Had I thought to thrown it at the vehicle, it would have blown up and set another fire. But I didn't think of that. Also, leaving the wounded <laughs> sometimes is counterproductive. You'll see. So now I know I, I pretty much milked this position for everything is going to give up. I got to get down there with the 249 saw and get into some close combat. You won't last long. I'm going in. I'll cover you. And as usual, as soon as you make a move, they come out of the woodwork. Great place to stand off when you get down here is these tubes here, these sewer tubes. Great cover. And now I realize there's a wounded guy over there taking pot shots at me. And he really chews out my health. Game room right there. And now I've got somebody with a, a very healthy enemy with a shotgun over there. So it's getting intense. I'm being flanked by a wounded guy. I got a shotgun at the building. And I think there's another wounded guy there. <laughs> They're all over the place. Should put a little more height in that grenade. Yeah, it's intense. Getting rushed by vehicles. These guys are gonna make me use my use up my cigarettes in no time. Game over, asshole! the one threat. Totally paranoid. I was lucky I got that guy because I had to change out my mag. So that is it. Here we go. Last threat. I'm right down to it. And this wounded guy, and then when you know I get a malaria attack. <laughs> and this wounded guy is just chewing away at my health like there's no tomorrow. 
He's abandoned my existence here. You know far you know how far he is away? I would say okay, I would guess about he's way across at the other end, okay? So that's what, like uh fifty yards? This guy with the you know, like a pistol at fifty yards is chewing up my health. So finally recharge here. Get a fresh batch of serrets and some more ammo. See that? One third of my health, one shot. Now I wouldn't even deal with them, but I want to go get some diamonds. There's two diamond briefcases down there. The objective, I'm just just shooting just because I at this point I still don't know where the wounded guy is. See now I'm zeroing in on his, his the sound of his gunfire there. The objective, the distributor cap, is right in that building there. But I want to leave it till last. Because as soon as you pick that up, it respawns um, patrols in the area. So you want to leave that. Okay, just leave it. Do it last. I finally spot him. He had pretty good cover. That's why I couldn't see him. He's hungered down behind these barrels here. Yeah, even the wounded are deadly in this game. Okay, so let's go get the diamond briefcases. One is on top of this roof here. And the other one is in a burnt out truck over here. Three diamonds all together, but hey, we least not want not. Okay, so all that for that. There's also a fuel pile in here somewhere. I want to hit that up. Get some valuable Molotovs back. This is some great stuff. Great stuff. A couple of new games I'm playing now. Don't even measure up to this. Okay, they're good games, but uh, the way they make games these days. I don't know. They just overthink them. This is like, you know, the Ubisoft at its best. They just hang out until you after. As soon as you retrieve the package, make your way to the truck. Okay, they just create an enemy area, give you one simple objective, go pick up that, you know, that thing. That's it. They fill the area with with bad guys. And you got to figure out how to get in there and get that thing. <laughs> and it's just so much fun and it's so challenging. None of this jump through hoops crap, you know, do this while you stay in the, you know, the moving circle of eavesdrop crap, swing over here on the Spider-Man cord, you know what I mean? None of that, you know? Just simple, shoot him up, shit, right? So we're going back to the safe house because that's the best thing to do number one to save the game and strategically that's the best way to continue on to the next area the dental clinic <laughs> yeehaw <laughs> took a bad hop there also I've got a rocket launcher in the crate the special weapons crate at the safe house, which is going to be very useful. Okay, so if you're on the console, get in there and save the game. Save your progress. So I'm just going to sleep about 10 minutes. Just get the option to save the game. So I still want it like right in the middle of the day. Done and done. Let's go grab the rocket launcher. We're gonna come back for the S, uh, the saw rather, 249 saw after we uh, make use of the rocket launcher. And I forgot to fully load the rocket launcher before I put it in the crate, unfortunately. Anyways, I only really need one shot. So there's an outpost over here. 
Priority number one is this sniper right there. Okay, shooting him down is going to put everyone in alerts. They're going to start running around, go into deep cover mode, try to pick off anybody else you can. You'll be lucky if you get someone else there. I got someone else, but I consider myself lucky. Next, there's a vehicle. You can see the ass end of it right there. I'm going to blow that with the rocket launcher to set the place on fire. And he shoots, he scores. That's it, the place is on fire. Some nice dry grass over there. And while that's happening, I'm going to speed run past that outpost. Rush back and get the uh, the 249 saw. I don't want to take on that outpost, I just want to get by it. And that's the best way to get by it, to create a diversion. Take out their eyes, the sniper right, the sniper in the uh, the guard tower, and then just rush by it. Reason being is we want to approach the dental clinic from the west. There's a nice, beautiful choke point if you approach it from the south. The problem is, if you go there, you'll get maybe if you're lucky four or five guys and then all the rest are going to hunker down inside the dental clinic area and wait for you to come in and it's not a good place to come in because you don't have the high ground you don't know where anybody is and there's no good cover in there so it's much better to approach from the west even though it falls apart horribly for me but I survived <laughs> yeah you can approach from the west and then you can get uh, the high ground commandeer if possible a guard tower there will give you beautiful high ground and they gotta come up the road on both sides to get at you that was the plan <laughs> unfortunately I ended up playing my cards a little too early by accident and kind of rushed in I should have stealth in a little, a little more carefully I'm under pressure here because of my the malaria clock is running and I gotta get this uh, this area done before I have too many more malaria attacks. So there's a guard tower up there. I'm gonna show you in a minute. Right there, you see it? And he spotted me. So that's it. It's game on. I gotta play my cards now. I didn't mean to do that. I would have liked to have stealthed up to right about this position right here and then started it. And what I usually do is take a pot shot at some guy off to my left and then I take an M79 to the guard tower, just blow it away and then rush up here and make a standoff but things fell apart horribly and they just they came at me and I ended up having to use up a lot of my syringe, all my syringe <laughs> yep, gobbling them down like M&M's so now it's kitchen sink time <laughs> No, it's t it, I'm in a bad way. No Surrettes, down to two bars of health, and there's still plenty of enemies around. And the place is on fire. And with that, I'm going to leave you guys with another cliffhanger. I'm sorry, hey, it's what I do. Uh, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching, and see you next video.